Yeah, it's so beautiful. Look at that lovely graceful oak. <coughs> I mean, part of my reason for doing this slot over here is I know Jude and Stuart used to come over to Porlock and over this way. I, I, I feel that's what they used to do and we're always out walking all over the country but they like this area underneath the arches you've got to do it you never know when you can your time's up and uh, well they did a lot I know I mustn't talk about other people when, but um, yeah those are personal reflections that I do which aren't public well, it's nothing, you know, it's nothing nasty, it's just thoughts and feelings. Sometimes I share, so I do share the old thing, like I say, oh, I can imagine my sister walking here and all that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Anything really emotional, I, I edit it, and well, I keep it, it goes on a different video. What do you say about that? That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And I was looking over here. Fantastic. I'm surprised, really, there aren't more people out. See, there's another path. What you'd have to remember, Shill. You came that way, but I expect if you wanted to go back, you could go up that way. But look, there's another little drinking hole here. See? The shape of um, another little fountain. I don't know what they call this one. It's probably numbered. It's probably on the map. Sometimes when I keep going, I think, oh, I think you've missed a turning. I mean, I just, <sighs> I mean, I now feel I'm getting to know and feel I'm just being only starting to be let into Exmoor. I'm just starting to feel I'm on the, on the edges, and I really I haven't got deep into it yet over where Ronald Fiennes lives and all that. The wild areas, the real wild. I haven't done that, that's on the agenda. Don't know when, because uh, after this week it's supposed to be closing in the weather and that's the uh, dark evenings. Um, and like I said, I might not, I might not do that side today. Mainly because it might be too complicated and I don't really want to get lost. So I think what I'll probably do is go head back that way, if I, as long as I take the right turns each time, and um, go down on the beach and walk back that way, I think. I, I'll, I literally might just come straight back this way. Although I'm sure you can get in. But to me, there's an awful lot of arable land here. Unless there's a walk up through a wood there. See, that would be alright if there was a walk up through there. Cause what a difference having those insoles. What a difference. I forgot that I used to put them in. I bought some new ones the other day. I thought, I'll oh, take them with you. You never know. I've put them in today and they're beautiful. I and mean, I've been walking around without them in and of course my feet have been aching. another bench here. I'm just going to sort myself out. Then there's a signpost just beyond it. 
There's loads and loads of ways up, by the way. Loads of ways up. But of course, if you keep to the woods, you'll be cooler. Over and out for a minute. Right then, I've just come along this track, the closest one's to the edge, because there's so many tracks. The closest one to the edge, till I got to the sign. Alfred and Bossington, back that way. Holnicott, Coombe and Hurlstone, up that way. Selworthy, down there where I'm going now, and Selworthy, Coombe, if you wanted to explore that. But my, my aim is the church. So we're going down. I'm just going to do a little bit. I have got a spare camera, but I've got to remember which way I want to go when I get because we're already up a bit, but uh, we'll worry about going back in a minute. As long as I get the church done, I've decided I am going to come back this way unless there is a clearly defined mark. Um, from Selworthy to Portlock on the other side of the road. Um, there's that Horner Hill and all that, but it just looks like it might be too much. I'm not sure. I don't want to overdo it, you see. Yeah, I probably think once people have done the Minehead route, although I haven't done the rugged route yet, I'd have to do that when I was charged right up, that one. Um, and that would be another visit now, because I don't, I haven't got that planned now to do that. I have thought about it, but I don't, I don't think I can fit it in. I've only got tomorrow, and I did want to do a bit on the other side, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, look out for signs, look out for signs. Don't want to go wrong now. Selworthy Green. Selworthy Coombe. Right, just to make sure, I'm going to look in the um, instructions again. Hold on a minute. Right, I'm back on. Basically, yes, we've got to this post. So we have to go, it says to follow... You venture at Catherine's Well. That was called Catherine's Well back there. What that what I thought was another fountain. It's called Catherine's Well. A small stone edge spring on the left. Anyway, um, take the right fork down, sign Selworthy Green. Follow this path down to a gate across a stream bridge into Selworthy Green. Right, we'll get that far and then we'll look again because I can't take in too much information. We're not far now. That's the main thing. We're not far. So that's the sign. We would have a bit of climbing to do on the way back, I think, here in there. But it's a cool walk. It's a cool walk. Just giving you a bit of an idea where we're going since leaving that back there. Oh, a squirrel, some wildlife. Yeah, I suppose it all costs money to get the signs updated all the time, doesn't it? I seen one broken yesterday and then the wind and soil erosion can make them turn in the wrong direction. I'd like to think that's what's happened, not someone deliberately doing it. Right, we're coming down to a gate now. 
We're heading for Selworthy Green and then we just find the church. We do the church. Might be full of people, we've got no idea. But we can at least get, say, do the outside. So I'm trying to tick off, well, I didn't, I'm never going to do it my every church in Somerset. No, because I'm not concentrating on lots of parts of Somerset. You know, there's a lot I can't do, and I'm, if I haven't got a vehicle, I won't be able to do hardly any of it. I've just done a small part, really. Right, we're at the green. Now, do we go left or right? That's a nice little place, isn't it? Doesn't tell us where we go here, so we might have to consult the. Let's go over here on the bench. Look at that. This is real rural Somerset, this is, isn't it? No sign of the church yet. God, look at that. That um, old chimney over there on that thatch roof, look. This is so worthy, everyone. This is so worthy. There's beautiful hills over there. Just give an idea of the little cluster of uh, thatched places there. Look, see, look at that. That's so worthy, coom all up through there. Look. Beautiful over and out, folks, for a minute. 